We should watch uh, the 2018 Fred Le-, Le Mans full race replay. Jesus. Good God. No, we're good. It's only 25 minutes. <laughs> ah, ah, you fucking ah. asshole. Ah. Uh, we're going to watch this because it's 11 minutes. Yep. All right. It's 10.50. Shut up. Oh, no, Daewoo. What's this guy doing? About to get fucked. fucked. Dumb shit. Yo! Oh! Tank! That's amazing. That's our first tank. <laughs> I love that the Russian, <laughs> the Russian military anthem is playing right now. That made that so great. God, Conrad. <laughs> whoa, whoa! Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode two hundred and two of the Camcast. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeehaw. And how? I am Mike, dear leader, doc taste, leader of men, herder of cats. I'm wearing the pink shorts today. As yeah, you should. They're Damn, almost right. salmon. Here's something. Been a discussion about that about them at work. It's been it's been interesting. Anyway, I am joined as always to my right by the one, the only, your mine, our uncle radical, professor of the ghetto arts, tenured, not licensed, except in a few a few countries and uh, some some certain parts of the world. Yep, Central America, Eastern Europe, large swaths of Africa, New Zealand, just the top half. Yeah. Yep. Uh people call him. Daddy Rads. Some people outside of this basement call him Daddy. Mm-hmm. Nobody in this basement, though. That's okay. We're not doing that. That's all right. We call him Scoots, though. <laughs> and look him in the eye when we do it. How you doing, Scoots? Great. There we go. <laughs> I mean, shenanigans. There we go. He's hoping <laughs> yeah. I got something for him. Oh, that look on his face. We got nothing. Nope. All we know is he is the chairman of the board, Colonel Eddie Dean himself, Zach Lords. I don't know why I'm here. You're just, you're just here. I just I was just present and then I also I was here. Yep. Wow. Ugh. I feel like I need that button. Wow. <laughs> Load them up, baby. Crack me up some wows. Drive by wow. <laughs> Oh, I have, I've actually been uh, looking into getting um, Pizza Dad, if he ever comes back on, the Yeet Belt. Ah, good. Yes, it is It is in the works. I mean, good? I'll, I'll, I should ask him what kind of belt he likes, and I'll, I'll go to um, I'll go to uh, the DI and buy that belt, and we'll, we'll tape it on. Go ahead and give us your suggestions for Pizza Dad's belt. Mm-hmm. Shed them to us on the social medias. We're at Cam Automag on a lot of them. Mailbag at camautomag.com. You know, uh, if you're giving us five bucks a month or more on Patreon, patreon.com slash camautomag, drop your suggestions in the Cam Super Secret Shenanigans Facebook page. Yes. There you go. It's one of the many benefits of giving us five dollars a month via Patreon. It's true. Others include bonus content, early access to Thursday episodes like this very one that you're listening to. Yes. If you're listening it, listening to it on a day that is before Thursday, congratulations. You're giving us money. Yup. At least five dollars a month, and that's okay, and that's great. <sighs> there are other levels with other prizes, uh, not prizes, benefits is what they're called. The I best prank for your buck is the five dollar level. We'll definitely never say no to more. Oh yeah, no. But the five dollar level gets you access to all this good stuff, yep. and that's where we suggest you start. Yes, and uh, you know we need more Patreon subscribers. We get so that we can start, you know, live streaming this to Cam Shenanigans. We could start doing other cool stuff. I got to update the goal because we've hit our $150 goal. Yes, we have. So now I need to up it to, uh, you know, up, I want to say 200 bucks. I think that is reasonable. That yeah. Is a reasonable budget. I feel like it is. So, yeah, 200 bucks, and we will start live streaming this to the patrons only. Exactly. So that gives you more incentive to uh, go ahead and jump upon this. Exactly. Uh, that That basically pays me to hook a bunch of cameras to a computer and aim them at our ugly faces. And then I can edit this on the fly while we're streaming it to the Facebook page. Speak for yourself, ugly. Anyway. Okay. Aha. Uh-huh. See. I think I'm pretty. Yeet. Okay. That's a... <laughs> I think I'm pretty. Wow. I have no idea what Zach, what's going on in Zach's head. Just... I know exactly what's going on in his head. I was actually going to reach over and do that. Thank That'll, you. You're welcome. <laughs> well, um, can't, can't you go? What's going on inside my head with small children? That sounded really bad. 
Do you really? Uh, can, can I tell the story? Uh, let's let let's sit in this for a minute. <laughs> God, that was really bad. I regret everything I just said. All right, go ahead. Man. Okay, yes, you should. Fuck, that was awful. Okay, I don't think about small children. I, I want to make that said. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna be turned into a, some kind of Facebook meme. I don't want that to happen. Um, so, <laughs> those who are, wow. <laughs> I hope you're gonna meme it up out there. If Yeet. you know what I mean. Wow, I regret everything I've ever said. Um, so I, I bought a car, bought a, a Corolla, a Rally Corolla. It's teal, and I've seen it. You know what it looks like. Yeah, it's been around. Everybody knows it. Everybody thought it. Uh, I wanted it, but it wasn't ever mine. But now it's mine. And I have the title. We know that for someone else, not you. Damn, I that's you. that's very petty of you. I know. I guess I'm just being a Zach over. Here. <laughs> I'm very revoking for privileges. <laughs> okay, um, but so I parked it at my apartments because I have four cars there right now so i don't drive all of them all the time so this is that for probably about a week i come out to it and a uh, as i'm getting in my car i'm trying to put up my lap belt and stuff and i see all the kids there's a little playground in front of my where my park my car all the kids are looking at me and i was like what the fuck is going on it's like some children of corn shit they're all staring at me <laughs> and like i like, mean adults do this to you so you should kind of yeah. be used to it but but normally they're not like this tall i'm gesturing to like a four foot person Maybe three foot person. Yeah, and so like they all start getting a little bit closer and a little bit closer, and finally like the lead kid steps out and goes, "Someone keyed your car." And so I get out, and I look, and I all I just see my hood, and it looks like um someone keyed like some like ninja panda thing. It was actually kind of like well done, kind of, <laughs> kind so, like, of adorable. It was kind of adorable, like it was in a good spot too. So I wasn't really mad about. it. I was like, "What's whatever." And so I ended up going to where I was going to get out of the car and I look, and then on my passenger side, they ran the key up and down the side several times Ooh. and then tried to write something in it. Ouch. And I was like, that pissed me off. Right. Cause I'm like, okay, it's like whatever about the whole artistic thing, like whatever, you can do whatever you want. But like that's, the, that's just blatant damage on someone's vehicle. Right. And so I started talking to somebody where I was at and they're like, oh, I live in the same apartments as you do. Go ask the kids. They will know who did it. And so I, I, I drive the back kids, with kids. They know. Yeah. So I drive back down with um with another friend and we're like we're about ready to go kick some shit out of some like ten ten year old. Like we're fucking ready to do this. You're just ready to throw down and yeah. beat some parents' ass for not beating their children. And I, I told him I said you're going to film this because I'm going to get swarmed by like fifteen kids. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> so I get it's down like there. Level six of Fruit Ninja, but instead of slicing grapefruit, you're slicing kids. Damn. <laughs> Yeah, more or less. So I get down there and I, I roll in, and they're all like, "Oh, looking at me like they, they, they know what's going on." And of course, like, they know what's going on. Those little fucks are are in it. Yeah, they're in on it, aren't no, they? No, no, no. It gets better. So I, I walk up to I walk up to the group and I'm like, or like the the player, I'm like, "Hey, does anyone know who keyed my car?" Nothing. They're always like staring at me, and then I go, "I'll give the first person who tells me who keyed my car five bucks." All those little fucking hands went up in the air. I like, was it was impressive. Um, <laughs> Every. Every little ten year old's a narc for money. I know, right? Like, what was what, this next generation going to be like if they were just willing to sell it for five fucking dollars? Like, yeah, exactly. I thought ready to raise the bar up to twenty, but they already sold out. Bro, hit my premium snap. I know, right? Um, Buy my gram, five bucks. <laughs> so um, we, we end up finding out, finding out what's going on. It was some kid. Um, they saw him do it. They told him not to, but they saw him do it. I got the landlord involved and stuff, and I felt kind of bad because, like, uh, I talked to the parents and the other kids, and it sounded like he had a really rough day he was doing some he was he's not he's not a good kid by any means okay it sounds like the kid needs to get his ass beat it sounds like the parents need to get their asses beat for not beating this kid's ass i i, I just feel bad because like the the it very 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 clear the parents had way too much to deal with this kid already so i told him i'm like hey your kid keyed my car here's the photos you can go look at it if you want to i'm not pressing any charges i'm not asking for any money it's like 20 dollars or worth of pain I'm, I'm not concerned hmm. but just want to let you know this is what happened you're far nicer than i am yeah, bashing in heads. Yeah, fuck but, kids. But I, yeah, so yeah, fuck kids. There we go. Almost spilled some blood. Spilled yeah. some young blood. All righty. You wouldn't have done shit. I'll, I'll <laughs> fuck you up. <laughs> no, you won't. Tomorrow at the flagpole, ten o'clock, three p.m. Okay, I can do. Uh, can do three thirty. I got another three forty-five. Okay, we can do three thirty-five. Right, cool. I, I, I have a prior engagement Ugh. at the flagpole. <laughs> Damn. That worked really well. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> uh, Summer's here? We have yes, a question. Yes, we have We have a question and we have a love loaded of wagons, but we're going to save that for later. Sam, 
We're, it's it's all right, Sam. We're going to get to it. I promise. We will. Yes. Really, we will. Yes. Sam Babbler. Or? Yeah, Sam Babbler. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. SJB Auto. I have another Sam who should be writing us at some point. Well, it wasn't until that person writes. That is very fair. Yep. Anyway, I, um, can I just say I really like Google's auto-generated responses? At I'm the down for whatever. I'm fine with whatever. I'm down for either. And. Like the first two are just apathetic as fuck, and the last one makes no sense because there are four choices. Either technically works in this pl- in this spot. It's just not the it's not the first one off the bench. Yeah, as having to take enough writing classes to know this shit, I know this shit. God damn! Next, you're going to tell me the Oxford comma is incorrect. No, I, I'm a fan of the Oxford comma. Good as you should be. Yeah, what's what's the Oxford? <laughs> It's a thing we give a fuck about, all right? Get out. Sh- sh- should I give a fuck about it? Yes. Yes, you should too. Okay. All right. Everybody needs to give a fuck about the Oxford comma. Let's yeah. turn into a rap. Vampire Weekend already has a song about it. Mm, okay, never mind. Moving on. <laughs> uh, from Brandon Kuhn, summer is here and we all know that with summer comes car shows. So money and time being no object, what show do you g- do you want to go to? Grid Life, Woost, LS Fest. Uh, hi, Dave. <laughs> or something else entirely. I-, I like how he didn't mention ISS. Which yeah. is the yeah. largest show in the state. Yeah. I might have to ask, what is Woost? Woost is a European car show, festival, weekend kind of thing uh, yeah. that previously was done at Palace Station in Las Vegas. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. It's been, uh, it's been something that a lot of people have trekked down to for many years. It was a rite of passage for a lot of people. Yes. And uh, last year, it did not happen. Interesting. Um, yeah. There were a series of Unfortunate uh, events. I- events and... Issues with scheduling, issues with venue, uh, yeah. and the person or persons in charge of Woost basically said, if we can't do it the way that we want and the way that it should be brought to you, we're just not going to do it. Interesting. And, of course, the Euro car community takes everything far further than it needs to be taken, and they all pretty much just said, rip Woost, so it's probably in. Yeah. Mm. Ah, uh, the car community. Always Indeed. one for measured responses. Yeah. Anyway. All right. I already have my answer to this. Okay. Go for it. Got Bill. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Money and time are yeah. no object. Good old, good old mantor. Shit. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead into the fucking Norwegian woods and just OD on crazy ass shit. But you got to think they yeah, spend, you, you know. Give me more information than just that. Oh, so Got Bill is like you. You have no idea what this is about. I know. I'm. I'm, I'm wanting to learn. Teach G- me. G A T E B I L. Oh, hold sure, on. You're googling this. Yeah, I'm gonna show. Yep. I'm gonna be enlightened right now. Uh, basically, this is like a the Finnish, Finnish. Wow, Norwegian. Swedish, Finnish, Norwegian. Yeah, uh, well, I've seen videos from here. I think I'm just looking at those. Yeah, I think I've seen. Yeah, it is Norway, so it yeah. is Norwegian. Because I like, like the 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 V10. Uh, uh, Vovel drifting. I think that was here. Right. So basically, this is like a week-long motorsports festival at this track. Up uh, in... Yeah, like, it's in the middle of nowhere in Norway. That's how they get away with this. Right, exactly. And it's just mental. These guys spend, you know, years building some of these cars. Yeah. Where they spend, Dual you, know, you know, like... Eight months out of the year yeah, covered for- in snow. So when they get home from work, they put in work on these mental ass cars they are building these cars that only exist for this event exactly holy shit like some of these crazy at like some of these cars exist for this week and then sit in a garage holy being fuck. tweaked yeah for the the next year no, like like you've got grip cars you've got drift cars you've got you know there's a car show there's a music festival Hey, There's, have you ever it's wanted so to, much? Hey, have you ever wanted to see like crazy ass all wheel drive shit? You know, like pairing off tandem drifting, and then oh by the way, an eleven hundred hork one all wheel drive GTI. Yes, just throwing down hardcore on all crazy ass shit. Yep, you go to Got Bill. Yep, yeah, like this shit is insane. Like every like you know. Grid life, all of these things that are happening here. It is aspire. it is literally everything combined into one yeah. in this one event. Grid life aspires to be Got Bill. Yes. Interesting. Yeah. And it's like 
Yeah, I mean, it is it is just these insane-ass things. Like, you know, people talk about demo cars, like demo drift cars. Right. And, and, you know, it's like, oh, it's a car that, you know, with a couple tweaks could totally be FD legal. All of this shit that you're seeing right now, absolutely fucking not. Is it legal for anything except this? Right. It because, is just... Like, I saw the the fucking like thousand horsepower diesel Mercedes wagon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bl- uh, t- uh, Black Smoke Racing. Yeah, I saw that. They r- come out and do this. Yeah, they also drift in the European Drift Championship. There's a lot of these guys in you know that are involved with Gotbill that are in the European Drift Series, or yeah. they are you know they they do that kind of stuff. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah like, there a lot of these guys oh. are like motorsports. No, like they're, like they're they're all very well seasoned in motorsports. A lot of these guys are builders. Yeah, like for motorsport, a lot of these guys are builders just by hobby alone. Yeah, like this. People talk about you know like oh you know we'll bring out the party car. Yeah, no, like your party car, whatever is in your head. Like, yeah, you know. Oh yeah, I'm totally gonna build like a party ass S14. Tight. That's going to be baby town frolic compared to some of the shit that you will see. Exactly. In yeah, it's exactly. Crazy. I mean, you've got, you know, like you mentioned, the Vi- the twin turbo Viper V10 and a Volvo 240, you know. Yeah. Um, one of the really popular 2JZ Volvo wagons yeah. uh, is there every year. You know, you've got this electronic music festival that goes on yeah. every night, you know, and, and let's be real, European checks. Oh, yeah. A1. All class. The, the, Dude, this like, video has, has, yeah. European, yeah. like, EDM festivals? Yeah, no. That's just, like... Again, that is the pro ranks. It's it's like psych. You thought, yeah, exactly. This, this shit is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You thought you had an idea of what you were getting yourself into then, huh? Psych. <laughs> oh, I feel, like, I feel like my choice is not even like should even be said anymore. Shit. I mean, this. Okay, let's be real. This is kind of almost a cheat code. Yeah, yeah. this is well because what I was gonna pick is actually in the top corner. What? The the, the, the next video, Drift King of. No, not that exact video, but I was gonna pick. Drift King of Riga. All right. You, if you want to search a video, search uh, Riga Baby. I I don't uh, I don't actually know what this is about. Yeah. So search search Riga Baby. What? R R I G A B A B Y. Yep. Okay. So Weird. it's and then the top video. Meet Riga Baby. Yeah. So huh. basically, um, similar thing with less cocaine, more or less. Then why How are we dare going? You? What? <laughs> I know, right? It, it's kind of upsetting, but um, I believe this is in Estonia. It says in the video, but I can't hear it. Yeah, we can't hear this. Um, but it's uh, wherever Riga is. I can't remember what the fuck it is right now. But it's a they, 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 they cool thing. So it's a giant drift event, and then they have a street portion okay. where they drive the fucking cars on the fucking street. Awesome. Which, like, so you can see some of these shots. Like, these aren't some of the drift cars. These are just no, these some are of the spectator cars. Some nice <laughs> cars. A yeah. DSM in Europe. Hello. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Somebody spent some money. Let's this be this real. part is like, like this on is, a talent of all things. Yeah. This yeah. part was definitely and a three thousand sure. GT. Good God! All right, I'm I'm impressed. But um, Let's and then see what you're doing? Then they have the actual drift event, which I don't know if it's sanctioned by anyone or if it's just a fucking drift event. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Yeah. I, I recognize that Volvo. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then also I, of course EDM, EDM hot uh, bitches. Yeah, great. But uh, you got to see the um, S14. Hello. Uh, the, the street portion, not this part, uh, but the actual parade they do. Well, see, here's my thing about this. In Norway, I'm just going to be like, I'm going to have to fight trolls, literal trolls. I'm going to have to get an axe, and me and Osbo and a couple other Nordic dudes are going to have to defend God Bill from whatever the fuck it is coming out of the woods. Right. This, I feel like I could wake up somewhere and and, and probably just be missing a kidney. Okay, thanks for poking at my crotch. Wow. Instead of just using your that's, words. That's, uh, huh. So yeah, street portion. I hit my microphone. God in heaven. Just like full on, like. Yeah, these these are cars that probably aren't even tagged. I mean, no. I see vanity tags on some of these. Yeah. And they're just police escort and they're just doing crazy shit. They're just doing dumb shit on the street. Yeah. My God. The prior right. skip was basically like a weird explanation of like why he's filming this. It's stupid. Okay. All it's right. just a unnecessary plot for a video that doesn't need plot. Okay. Yep. Okay. Well, uh, let's okay. All right. Well, Dave. In- interesting. Um, I'm I'm going to Google where Riga is. Yeah, I believe should. Estonia, but please tell me if I'm wrong. Capital of Latvia. Latvia. So Lat- it's it's a right. country. Okay. Yep. So Lat- right it's Latvian. That's great. Yeah. 
Um, this this fits. It, yeah. it really does. Um, so, <laughs> Dave, can you can you outdo this? I can't. Uh, actually, <laughs> you should just go with Radwood. Just just just. Well, I mean that's that's one of many goals <laughs> for me. But Radwood, but with actual bricks of cocaine. <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay. Oh, no, no, yeah. no, here's I mean, this. I'm in, man. I'm in. To just travel back to 89. 89? I'm going to go back to 87, bud. Yeah. Okay. Like, no. But, ba- you know, back when I just barely became to exist. <laughs> we're going to show up at a Porsche 935 that's not running. <laughs> and then when everybody's like, fire it up, we're going to have to take some stuff out of the engine real quick. <laughs> yeah. As we slowly turn it over to push the coke out of the cylinders. Right. <laughs> Wow. Anywho, we're just back there, just slowly by hand, just (laughs) just cranking it with a twenty-four mil. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, (laughs) The spark plug holes are slowly pouring this cocaine porridge. Yup. Oh boy. (sighs) Okay. So that's what I would do. All right. Cool. That's cool as shit. Actually. Um, if it was worldwide, I'm going to have to agree with Got Bill. <laughs> yeah. Um, if it's here in, you know, on U.S. soil, um, as far as a show. And of course, bet, bet space, bet safe. Oh yeah. Right. As far as a show goes, like, like a, a, a vendor like like a vendor spot and like a car show and like a couple of small things you know like LS Fest mm-hmm. I would want to go to LS Fest in Kentucky the original the OG oh. LS Fest the one that's actually held in Bowling Green by yeah. Holly LS Fest West is an extension of that yeah. now I've been to every LS Fest West but I have yet to actually make the venture to Kentucky interesting for this now there it's it's a much larger show um, because you have a majority of, you know, the Midwest and the East Coast all joining yeah. into Kentucky for this one. Yeah. Um, and, you know, of all places, it's Holly's headquarters. So, makes sense, right? Yeah. Um, it, that would only be seconded by, uh, like, Drag Week or the Hot Rod Power Tour. Mm-hmm. Kind I was, was going to say honorable mention to the Hot Rod Power Tour. Right, exactly. I have always thought. I mean, it's a goal of mine to actually do something, like to have a car in Hot Rod Drag Week. Like, I want to do that. That is something, that That'd is a awesome. goal of yeah. mine in the next few years. The 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 Power Tour is definitely something else I could go for. You know, something like that. I just want to go on the Power Tour just so I can run into Rutledge Wood and Ryan Eversley, who are sharing a car this year. Oh, boy. And go to a newfound glory concert with them. I'm, I'm not that mad. That is a thing that happened. I'm I'm not mad. I, I also like how our answers really much um, reflect on who we are as people. Because, like, there are some people who have been like, I want to go to the, the concourse of... Concourse um, de Legons or something. Yeah. yeah. Or whatever the, the shit happened, like, a month ago, where they brought out the, the, the Lamborghini prototype and the BMW... Um, yeah, like, their tone. Yeah, like, you know, they want to go to, like, some people are like, oh, yeah, clearly the Monterey Historics. Like, yeah. that's, you know. Right, or, or you got, like, Pebble Beach. Or yeah, you got, you know, any, any, yeah, exactly. Or the, you know? the, 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 the pearl thing, the, the quail, the quail. Yeah, like, they're, I mean, they're, you know, they're, they're a bunch of different car folk. And, and you yeah. clearly we have laid out who we are. And, and you know, you know, Joey and Jamal, shout out to you boys, by oh, the yeah. way, um, would probably choose, you know, like one of the a, a, hot, a hot night at, you know, like Dakota Futo or like Tokyo and, Auto Salon. Yeah, yeah or, or like spring or summer or fall Matsuri. Right, exactly. You know? Exactly. Something mm-hmm. like that could be seen. Or like, you know, the... Uh, the thing they do at Fuji Speedway every year, oh, yeah, or which, whatever it which, is. Which thing that they do at Fuji Speedway? <sighs> yeah, you're right. I was about to say, like, you know, there's all the different Skyline festivals that they do. Oh, right. You there know? was, I did have an Arnold Venture for me that, like, he said car show. This is more of a race I would want to go to. Yeah. Which, it, it, it's so cheating. But it's the uh, Peking to Paris Rally. Okay. Are you, are you familiar with that? Yeah, like, it's from, mm-hmm. like, it's across. It's, it's literally from, um, the like basically Beijing to Paris, Paris. yeah, and right. the rules are it must be an air specific car and build. So there's people running like um, like 40s Jags 
And like, I, I'm, I'm just going to pull up some of the photos. Maybe you can if, if you want to. Yeah. Um, but yes. it, it's just like, it's just crazy. And they, they do the whole drive. Not, not in one sitting, of course. They, right. they camp and stuff. Right. But like, people will take, where are you, are you going to Facebook for this? Because, no. We have other stuff to talk oh, about. Okay. Never mind, never mind, never mind. But yeah, uh, that, that, that would be, that would be my honorable mention. Yeah. Because it's fucking crazy and awesome. That would, that would be awesome. Sounds cool. Yep. I mean, you know, I, I think, uh. I guess, yeah, car show slash festival yeah. slash event. Yeah. yeah. But um, I mean, I'm, I'm going to do more research on um, yours, Mike. On Got Bill? Yeah, for sure. Got Bill. Yeah, just go, you go need ahead. To, just, go to Speed just, Hunters and, like, in their little search tab, search Got Bill. Do and, that and then go down a rabbit hole on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, is, is Got Bill... I think that's... So have you guys seen the, the, the Suicide Taxi video with the Evo? I think I've told you about it. Uh, more or less, it's a ta- Evo taxi, but I think that was at Got Bill. I I'm sure it was. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's a crazy video that we, uh, you'll have to watch at some point. I'll send it to you. Like right. uh, I, I mean, there was a, a clip in in that video that Mike was showing us. There's like an E60 M5 taxi. Yeah, yeah. Like just doing gnarly things. Yeah, like people here are just like, oh yeah, I'm building a drift taxi. It's like they've been doing that everywhere right. else yeah. for a while. It's just our lack of cool, fun four doors. I, I believe that actually was with Speed Hunters. No, the the the, the suicide taxi was basically the, they hired this guy with an Evo to drive them between event locations. Huh. I think at God Bill, mm-hmm. and like they ended up like running from the cops like three separate times, and like the car almost blows up. It was just like some crazy. Damn. Yeah. Well, there we go. That's what we got. Thank you, Brandon. Now, before we get on to uh, our roundup of uh, Florida persons of interest. We must remind you, camautoswag.com is where you go to buy stuff, Mm -hmm. like a hat. Yes. Or a shirt. You can get all kinds of good stuff. You can get several things, and you know what you can do? You can buy all those things, put them in the tote bag, because we got tote bags. Exactly. Buy a tote bag, guys. What the hell? Yeah, they're awesome. Anyway, that's camautoswag.com. All right, guys. What a person of interest time. Oh, boy. Man steals a mail truck, leads cops on a chase, and it ends exactly how you think it is going to. Yeah. Now, when I say mail truck, I mean... Like an actual Grumman... LLV mail truck. Yes. Like, when, when the mailman shows up, that's what it is. And, you know, <laughs> for those of you that don't know what a Grumman LLV actually is underneath the aluminum bodywork... Is it just an like explorer? No. no, that is the newer generation Grumman. Okay. I don't remember what they called that one in particular, but this generation of Grumman LLV is a short wheelbase S10 chassis. I actually even think it's a S10 Blazer chassis hmm. with an Iron Duke 2.5 four-cylinder. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is literally 1970s, 1980s technology with an aluminum box strapped yep. to the yeah. top of it. Uh Daytona Beach, how you doing? Oh, boy. Yes. Little Flagler County. Yep. The Flagler County Sheriff's Office received a call on Saturday from Louisa County saying a carjacking suspect had hopped onto I-95 in a stolen mail truck. The suspect had threatened a mail carrier in the town of Holly Hill with Mace before stealing her vehicle. Wow. Yep. All uh, right. Yes. The... Uh, the cops found the suspect vehicle on the highway and, you know, got around it, got ahead of it. A very easy task, I assure you, and deployed stop sticks. The person uh, hit the stop sticks and the car, the mail truck, did what any boxy vehicle will do when you suddenly remove a corner from it. It rolled. Barrel roll. Yup. So there... I hate to cut into the middle of this, but there are some really good gifts of this thing just doing like a nasty Tokyo Drift whip, <laughs> hitting the wall, and then going straight across the freeway and just casing it into yeah. the dirt. Yum. And it's great. Like the the dude did the biggest wall tap of, like of history. Is this the video? It's amazing. This is a video. So, uh, by the way, if you have not seen Live PD on A&E, it's like real-time cops. It's just as sad as cops is. <laughs> Interesting. Yep. It's a uh, my my dad loves it. Of course he does. Yeah. So uh, so here we see cell phone footage of the Grumman LLV in a quote unquote high speed chase. I mean the fact that he's 
doing, you know, 50. <laughs> It's actually pretty impressive. I don't <laughs> even know. That's slow. generous. I don't even know if they have overdrive. I don't know if they can hit freeway speeds. <laughs> I, I really know. don't know. There is no way in hell that thing is hitting freeway speeds. I mean, it's got the aerodynamics of a shoebox. So the here cop has deployed go. the stop sticks, which are just spikes on a chain, right? That they throw out and then you know yank back so people don't. <laughs> Yo, see, like he he Yo! just gets it, bro. He just gets it and, and then into the woods. Good night. Yes. And it makes it, you know, like a full circle. Yeah, like, and then it comes back over on its side. Oh boy! Yeah, it's pretty great, dude. Guns drawn. Guns sideways. What the hell is that? Florida. (sighs) Let's be real, bro. (laughs) Yep. This guy probably got the shit beat out of him, and he's handcuffed. Yep. (laughs) Done and done. All right, and you know there are so many federal charges (laughs) there because you're fucking with people's mail at this point. Yep. Uh, And he's got meth. Uh, yeah, he was he was under the influence of a number of drugs. Wow, yeah, he's just listing off shit. The, the driver, Jesse Estep, date of birth, 3-24-1990, is being arrested by FSEO, or FCSO, for grand theft auto, aggravated fleeing and eluding, and two counts of aggravated assault on a law enforcement officer. He will be transported to the sheriff's, to the Sheriff Perry Hall inmate detention facility once medically cleared by the hospital. He faces charges... In Valuisa County, also. Oh my God! This last paragraph makes me so happy. It literally just confirmed what I was thinking a moment ago. It says it's sad, man, because well, who steals a Grumman LLV? The vehicle's Iron Duke four cylinder sends ninety-ish horsepower through a three-speed slush box. I was right. <laughs> Trying to give thrust to a vehicle with the aerodynamic properties of a barn. I guess if the guy found a motor pool of male vehicles, I suppose he could have blended in and maybe gotten away. Oh, uh, that that is delightful. I like how My arrogant God. the guy looks right there. The cop? Yeah. Yeah, why the fuck wouldn't he? he just The sheriff right there, all, all up in tack gear. Yep. Probably sounds like my uncle. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, and now for your horrifying Florida woman story. Oh, God. Oh, oh yes. This one. This one. Oh, Jesus. Courtesy of our friend Alex Crane, who will be here on Sunday with a couple of his buddies. Beautiful. I'm excited. Yep. Oh, Mike's God. Her, na- her name even just. Oh, yes. So this is <laughs> on the Daily Mail. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and just read off the bullet points here. Florida woman, 21. God, fucking shit ass. Damn it. That's so, so many. How many ads so, use Chrome is and Daily get... Mail going Jesus. to fuck you on this? Okay, get Chrome and get. Ad block. ABP, baby. I've been using that for years. <laughs> because I love it when Chrome slows down all my shit because suddenly 14 of them are running in the background unbeknownst to me. But that doesn't happen as Dude, much anymore. do you know how yeah. many computers I have sitting underneath my desk? I have told you I will bring one here. Good. Bring one. Okay. All right. We're Florida woman, it. 21, choked her boyfriend and squeezed his genitals until they bled. Quote, unquote. After he, quote, saw text messages on her phone revealing date with an old friend. End quote. Oh, boy. Wow. Florida woman Katie Lee Pitchford, 21, was arrested on June 4 after she squeezed her boyfriend's genitals so hard that they bled during an argument. Pitchford and the victim have been dating for nearly three years and were living together in Indian Harbor Beach. The man called police saying Pitchford became enraged and assaulted him, hitting him with her fists and a brush, choking him and scratching his face. He told police she grabbed him, quote, by his balls and squeezed them until they bled, end quote. Wow. She claims this that her boy... hurt. Uh, you're right. I was reading this just being very uncomfortable at work. <laughs> mm. uh, she claims that her boyfriend became jealous after he saw text messages on her phone of date plans with an old friend, but says they never fought physically. Pitchford, a hairstylist was arrested for battery and violating her probation. Oh, boy. Why was she on probation, you ask? Well, I'm glad you did. She was arrested in October and November of 2017 for resisting an officer with violence. Wow. Okay. Yes. So she, she's aggressive as hell. Uh, she is detained. She was detained by the Brevard County Sheriff's Office on no bond. A- and... I want to see a photo of these people so badly. Like, oh, she's oh. she's an attractive girl. She ain't bad looking. Wow, okay. I thought well, this was going to go a different direction. No. Yeah. That's a... Uh... Oh, I have read this article because I saw the upper photo. Yeah, no. They're... Yeah, like, she's, she's a pretty gal, but you can just 
see in her face she is fucked in the head. Look oh, at yeah. that. She's the got, mugshot she's from got 2017. that smirk. Yep. Oh, yeah. She's going to do that shit again. Oh, yeah. All right. There we go. <laughs> Florida woman. Oh, dear God, no. Yeah. That's, That's probably the best headline you could have typed for that. Thank you. Writer. I can appreciate it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Wordsmith. Wow. That's what I'm here for. All right, guys. That is it for our Florida person of interest roundup, which is taking the place of Trent's billion-dollar question because he ain't here to give us a billion-dollar question. God damn it, Trent. He has, the power to, he has the power to end this. I'm just saying. Only you can prevent this. This. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> And speaking of this, we're getting to our question of the week. But first, go ahead and visit our friends over at uh, Steady Broke Clothing. Yeah, steady.broke on all the social medias, and it's steadybroke.com. Check out their catalog of goods. They've got all kinds of things. They've got crop tops, in case you want to air out the beer belly. Oh, yeah. Oh, or, oh, or in case oh, you have a girlfriend. Top. Yeah, no, like it, it stops. He- Ugh, God. All put, right. put your shirt down. No. Stop it. Thank put, me. put your shirt down. I'm airing out the belly. God. Damn it. Where's my gun? You have an oar. My SKS is in the truck. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> Brandon Kim just hooked me up with like 140 rounds for that thing, so. We're going to put 70 in Zach. Yep. Anyway. I have banana clips. Utah man. Shot to death in basement. Yeah. Sorry. Recording Anywho. studio. There you go. So, steady broke, right? You can get. You know, for cold weather, you can get their sweatshirts, which I think is the, one of the most expensive things on there. I think it is the most expensive. Um, but then you've got long and sl- short sleeve T-shirts. You've got crop tops, tank tops. You've got hats. Yeah. All kinds of good stuff. And you know what the best part about this is? It's all super affordable, and it's super high quality. You're yeah. wearing your Depresso shirt. Yep. It's I've a had very this, nice, smooth shirt. I've had this thing for a while, and uh, yeah, unless I told you I've had it for a while, you wouldn't know it. Exactly. I mean, I've washed mine probably two dozen times now, oh, yeah. and it still feels like the day I wrapped it or pulled it out of the plastic. Yeah, and they're black shirts, and they don't, like, if you wash black too much, it starts to, you know, turn colors that aren't black. Right. No, no this stays crisp. It stays yeah. soft. It's yeah. great. They're really Hold- high quality stuff. Oh, yeah. I don't know how he's making any money off this. I uh, I don't know either, but he seems to be doing it. So, and if that wasn't good enough, guys, I'm gonna do you one better. In the checkout, there's a little coupon code box, and in that little coupon code box, you type in Cam Auto 15. That gives you 15 percent off the entire order. So just because you're broke doesn't mean you can't live your dreams, man. Steady Broke Clothing. Steadybroke.com. Steady dot broke on all the social medias. There we go. All right, so uh, this question hit me after you know when I was driving the uh, the Focus ST a couple weekends ago. Mm-hmm. Also, Be- Randall, Randall, that's who you drove. Was that Randall's? No, never mind. They totally fucking ignore me. <laughs> oh, his words. Just okay, <laughs> if you say so. Yeet. Anyway, uh, yeah, no, I was uh, driving Ashton's uh, Focus ST, and I this question kept popping up because. Before I got the GTI, I was looking at Focus STs. Like you do. You know, because, you know, the GTI, the Focus ST, the problem is it exists in a world where the GTI is a thing. And the right. problem is the GTI is the benchmark. So, like, no matter what anybody does, it's always going to get compared to a GTI. Right. And I feel like that's unfair in several different lights. Yeah, it is. But, I mean, so... If you just absolutely hate German vehicles or just have some ridiculous, you know, allergy against, you know, a German vehicle, then the Focus ST is great. Yeah. But, you know, when I was looking, I couldn't find a Focus ST that didn't look like it smelled like a vape shop in my price range. Good luck. You know, yeah. So, um, got the GTI. And uh, a year later, I got rid of the GTI. <laughs> but I always asked myself, like, well, what if I got the ST? And then, you know, I have other questions and other what ifs in my life, you know, because I am of the mindset that a life without regret is a life not truly lived. You I know. see that, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, if you have regrets, that means you made a choice. Okay. Yeah, like... You... I guess I could be either for or against something. Yeah, like, you know. So. I, think, I think it's interesting that you think that way, because I actually have a different mindset than you. Yeah. Like, for me, it's... it's I, I actually more just long for the past. 
let alone long for the decisions I made. I remember just like remember the good times and just like, oh yeah, stagnate on those. Oh yeah, no, I mean it's like it's okay to remember the good times, but if you just like, yep, it was all sunshine and roses, or you know, well, I think for me though is because I'm happy with where I'm at now, <laughs> and so yeah. the decisions I've made up to this point would maybe put me to a different spot, and I don't know if I would be happier or not. Oh yeah, no, I'm. It was the lightest of times. It was the darkest of times. It was a time of mediocrity. It was a time of incredulity. So it was the 80s then. Yes. Okay. All right. Can I throw shit at Dave? Yes. No. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <what? laughs> anyway. Uh, I'm also the guy who just, you know, like, it, uh, I can't be left alone with my thoughts too much because that ain't good for me. Preach, brother. You know, like, you know, bad. Bad things happen when I'm left alone to my own devices, so yeah, I'm always trying to do something. You know. I get that. But I also just kind of think, like, oh, well, what if, you know, like, what, what if I never started skating? What if I went whole hog on this car thing and actually became, like, a tech or something? Or, you know, just all these different what ifs. That's just how my mind works, you know. Feel free to have a differing opinion, you know. Yeah, is- your thought process is wrong. You should feel bad about it. Well, I mean, you know, the waking up some mornings and just, you know, wanting to hop in the bathtub with a toaster is, you know, probably not a great way to look at the day. Just do it! Don't tempt me, man. That was the wrong button to push. I'm sorry. (laughs) (laughs) I feel really bad now. (laughs) That was great. Hey, buddy, can you pass that toaster? Yeet. (laughs) Ah. This life is empty and full of sadness. I was hoping you were going to hit yeet. Yeah, same. Yeet. There we go. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I, I totally... I totally <laughs> <laughs> we did that louder. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this has gone just swimmingly. <laughs> we're going to have a deep, dark, emotional episode. <laughs> Thanks, we're Dave. laughing the whole fucking time. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Well, uh, well I'll just remember, it. turning the car into oncoming traffic is counterproductive. Uh, I'll try to rope this back in here. Um, <laughs> well, well, wait a minute, Dave. Eat. What about when you like you're listening to the sports album for the eighth time? Turning the car into oncoming traffic may give you peace. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> the the, the um, harder <laughs> rock and roll is to beat. <laughs> This bitch will do 105 without the top on. See what we can do in uh in the uh, northbound lane as we're heading southbound. <laughs> All right, Zach. You give me that. Take it away, bud. I have to Yeet. jump off from there. <laughs> Shit. It's, wow. It's a little hot. You can or, turn that. Down. <laughs> or okay. So or, or we can just move along. Uh, no, I'll I'll, I'll, wow. I'll I'll work with that. I'll see what I can do. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> he's gonna play it. I like it. Play through, play through, Bill. It's a bold move, Captain. Let's see how it plays out. Um, So, me as a person, I'm generally a very happy person. I don't think you guys ever really seen me. You've seen me hungover before. I've seen you hungover, and I've seen you mildly irritated. Yes. And I've seen you incredibly upset. But you've never seen me just, like, depressed. I've never seen you as a mopey fuck. Yes. And I hope I never do. I hope no one has enough to see that, because it doesn't exist. I'm a happy fucker. fucker, Happy fucker. (laughs) And so, like I said before, like... Can we revoke, it, revoke his privileges? No. Okay. Yeet, 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 yeet. <laughs> I'm going to start a page, not a patron, but a, a petition. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Is Dave? Yeet. All right. I, I did not realize that button combo would have slayed you like it did. You know, I, well, what I'm thinking of right now is Dave is like one of those monkeys who can only talk through the the, the laminated pieces of paper. Wow. But this is I was going to say a speak and say. <laughs> this is how Dave does it. Is it. What is it? A speak and spell? So, Wally. Oh, my God. Mojo, what do they do to you? Freight, floor, Mojo. <laughs> I, I, will, I will never get past this. We're just stuck we, here. We really just need to have the Windows XP <laughs> shutdown tone right now. We need to have it fail halfway through. Yes. <laughs> 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 um, 
Um, but no, yeah, so like, I'm always a really happy person, so like, what the fuck am I even trying to say? Yeet. The thing that I what if about, I'm yelling right now, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just continue yelling. <laughs> my what if is, what if I didn't invite Jackson to come help me on my Dotson? Because that <laughs> was, okay, right. so I wrote that really specific, <laughs> but that was the moment I credit me liking cars to, like me getting into cars, was having someone around who enjoyed the things I enjoyed on cars and was willing to do them with me. And then we just kind of branched from there. All right. Because without that moment, I might still enjoy cars, but I might not seek them as much as I do now. I might not have the same fulfillment. I might not enjoy working on them. I might just be like, I like owning a car type thing. I was really hoping you were going to stop at, I still might enjoy cars. Done. Same. <laughs> but so for me, like, I like, I don't know what would happen if I, if, if like, I didn't have that. Like, if that didn't happen. Yeah. I might just be some dude. Who doesn't own six cars right now? All right. Well, there we go. You're just trying to be me. I don't even know what to say to you right now, Dave. Just now is the time to be quiet. We punt this, it over to Dave. This John song. Wayne, is that you? Is, is this me? me? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> just remember, kids, Charlie don't surf. Hey, 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 Mike, can you pass me the soundboard? Nope. Just so I can just, just hammer on it while he's doing it? Nope. Fine. Uh, oh, God damn. <clears throat> God. Um, God, right. you know, this This goes a lot of different directions for me. There's a, there's a lot of... There's a lot of what-ifs, and if I stand back and, and look at a lot of these, you know, larger points... God damn it. Just... Keep talking. No. Just, just just go back to your seat. You Sit down, Colonel. And give me the paper no. towels. <laughs> These are mine. All right, whatever. Congratulations. You played yourself. From the three-point line, denied. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I like how it just barely grazed that other microphone. Just a tiny little boop. And that was it. Like fucking and patch. Zach's done. Like patch. Zach is done. I just like kind of flicked it out of the way. Zach is done. Oh my god. Okay, maybe now, don't now whip that shit cups. so hard. All right. Can I have that back? No. Yeet. Ah, hit me in the head. <laughs> keep talking. Sorry, I keep derailing you like you do with ah, me. God damn, that's beautiful. All right, so... <sighs> Um, so, yeah, this could go a lot of different directions for me. Um, I mean, you know, like, what if I never sold that car as the example? I mean, I think that about a lot of vehicles. Now, to be fair, there are not a lot of vehicles that I've actually sold that have, you know, gone to exist in somebody else's ownership. I have been the final owner for a lot of vehicles, and that kind of bothers me to some extent. But you the know, thing, though. Like I said, there, there are not a lot yeah. of vehicles, um, especially anything that I have owned for any large amount of time. Um, and so, you know, what if I never sold that car doesn't really resonate with me so much. I mean, if I didn't sell you the Mustang, it probably would already have a V8 in it. I'd probably already be doing dumb shit with it. I mean, I've got a lot of Mustang parts still. So I that, that car could have been actually pretty cool with relatively little investment. Yeah. Um, you know, what if I bought my dream car? Well, I mean, my dream car changes on a regular basis. But, I mean, I'm coming into the position in my life where I can probably get close to affording like i don't know a lotus esprit or something and so you know that's kind of one of those things like you know i could probably potentially be able to do that you know and then i look back and think well you know if i did this differently or did this differently or i'd be in this better financial set you know if i did this or didn't do this i probably could have that car by now or this or that or or like the example I like to give when talking about SR-22 insurance. If I never got nailed to the cross by that one Orem police officer when I was 16, you know, and ended up making basically the payment of a new car, you know, from For 16 insurance. to, you know, I think I was 26 by the time I got out of SR-22 insurance. So, you know, 10 years 
of paying, you know, between 250 and 450 dollars a month to keep a driver's license. That wasn't even necessarily with a car on the policy. Um, you know, and, and I look back at that and I think, you know, well, I've always wanted an Evo 8. I've wanted an Evo 8 since they came out, you know, in 2008. And so I would have, like, I was basically making an Evo 8 payment for 10 years of my life to keep a license that would allow me to drive everything but the car that I, you know, want. Yeah. Right. And, you know, Evo 8s are hard to find. They're yeah. all going to be higher mileage or they're going to have some type of, you know, tax, you know, appreciated to them. Yeah. Uh, so I probably will actually not ever own one of those cars. I don't know. Maybe that'll change. But, but you know, I have other priorities on it. So it's like one of those things like, you know, if I didn't get in that situation to where, you know, I got my ass handed to me and, you know, my license, you know, suspended and that kind of shit. Where would I be, you know, financially yeah. in, you know, in the car world? Because, I mean, I was really into cars by the time I had my driver's license. I was into cars, you know, when I was just a little shit, but I wasn't really tinkering with cars until, like, you know, 14. That's when I got my SA, my first RX-7. Yeah. Uh, you know, and that that kind of thing, you know. And I could ask that question about that. You know, what if I never sold my SA? You know, that's a car that I have regretted selling every time I think about it or every time I see one. You know, and that's a car that's going to be really difficult to replace because I want a specific car. I want a 79 because that's what I had. You know, I don't care what color it is. I want a complete car that's not been molested. And I know that is really, really pushing it. I don't think that car exists. The car I built in 2002 still exists. It's on the East Coast. The guy drives it on a regular basis. He hill climb races it. Nice. Um, but, uh, you know, but that clean, unmolested example probably does not exist. No. So I, I've pretty much given up on that one. You know, uh, same thing could be said about a lot of different cars, FCs, you know, I've had 12 FCs and it could be like, oh, well, you know, I really liked that turbo swap vert I had, you know, I mean, what if I never sold that? Or, you know, uh, well, I had this, I had this really nice turbo two, you know, hatch. It was a really clean car. You know, what if I never sold that? Or. You know, what if I never bought all these shit pile FCs and bought an FD instead? I had the opportunity to buy one FD for what I had otherwise spent on three FCs in a three month period. And so that, you know, yeah. that that was another big what if too, you know, because that, that's the only RX-7 I haven't owned is an FD. Yeah. And those cars are appreciating at a ridiculous rate. Oh, yes. So, you know, that's another thing, right? Um... I've had a couple of A70 Supras, you know, like what if I never sold my turbo swapped, you know, base model NA auto car, you know, what if I kept that or, um, it can go so many different directions. I have, yeah. you know, these plans of grandeur with everything and then I don't do anything with them. And, you know, that's mostly finance limited. Some of that is decisions based on financing. But, you know, it's one of those things. I could probably fill an episode with what ifs. Oh, we definitely I could. think we all could, honestly. Oh, yeah. If we sat down and talked about it, I feel like everybody listening to this podcast could probably fill an hour-long episode with what ifs. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, it's a really, it's a really broad question that yeah, you can think for sure. It's, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a difficult one. Yeah, that's, and, you know, I feel a lot of the responses that we got were kind of, you know, telling of the, you know, it told me a lot about, you know, who responded, you know, just based on the answers that I got, that we got. Right. So, jumping into the responses in the shenanigans page, by the way, speaking of A70s, uh, at the Matsuri, a blue A70 park next to my van. Beautiful car. <clears throat> oh, I, yeah. I, I don't. Know who the owner is? Actually, I've seen that car before. Yeah, but I don't know whose it is, and it's a pre facelift A seventy, so it's yep. a it's a mid eighties, the mid late eighties. Yeah, like it's not a, it's not a ninety, it's not a ninety one. Yeah, like eighty seven, eighty eight. Right, exactly. Ronda. Yeah, Ronda was an eighty seven. Right? Ronda was an eighty seven. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you know the pre facelift cars. I like the interior and the front bumper of the pre facelift cars a Me lot too. more. I like the tail lights. Of the facelift car. Yeah. But I, we're picking hairs. Yeah. I, I still want to get another pre-facelift and do my little 
Zaku eye. Yes. It just destroy any of co- any cooling that was coming in through that little slit. Yeah, that's okay. It Who cares? It wasn't really all that great to begin with. It's, I mean, yeah. come on, the facelift car blocked half of that. That's very true. Plus, I'll just move the uh, license plate, put the turbo A duct in there. There you go. Problem solved. <laughs> turbo A duct. That's... Fuck that bumper. Yeah, exactly. That's and like the GTR vents that all the R33 kids are going nuts about. Yep. Yep. Uh, except I'm willing to destroy my crash structure to Atta- make this shit happen. Yeah, boy. What are you doing? Anyway. I mean, it's a 30-year-old car at this point. If you reckon it's done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> uh, anyway, Goddamn. Sam Babbler. I keep asking myself, what if I drift my daily E90-325i? Well, I mean... Uh, Go buy another diff, weld it, and find out. Exactly. Here's the thing. You're not going to really hurt it. Yep. So then let's see. Gavin was surprised that nobody tagged him yet, but, uh, you know. But he didn't give us an answer, did he? No, but we knew you'd come running. We, we knew you would. Yep. That's why we love you. Gavin, what are your automotive regrets? Yep. Tell yeah. us. None of your life regrets. Just, you know, whatever. Anyway, uh, Devin Creasy, I've had several what-ifs after I sold. Probably the two biggest... What if I'd never sold it? Cars were my SW20 Turbo. Uh, it was super beat, but super fun. And the silver uh, 86 GTS shell that I gave to William Vincent. Now, I wonder, is that the same silver shell that ended up becoming Will's kind of like crazy drift car that Gunner now has? I have no idea. Because that is a silver car. <sighs> Maybe. I mean, Gunner's got a 4G63 in the damn thing now. All right. It was at the it was at the two day drift event, the ISS weekend hmm. drift event. Um, yeah, I wonder if that's the same car. Well, who knows? I, I mean, he's had quite a few Corollas, obviously, but I'm just dying. Over and then here. Sorry. Right, part two here. Uh, yeah, I think about what if I never bought my Focus ST and bought a Subaru BRZ instead all the time. I still really want one, but they don't fit a baby seat well. I mean, being an expecting father, that's something you got to think about. Yeah, you know, that is that is circumstance kind of forcing your hand. So, uh, Scott Chamberlain, what if cows were green and grass was black and white? Why are long pants long and, Scott, and the sky blue? How does the rear end of a Pontiac Positrack work? It just does. It's, it's Plymouth Positrack. Oh, Scott. How does positive traction in a Plymouth work? Nobody knows. It just does. It just does. Uh, let's see. John Walker. A most regretted sale by a mile. Literally found this E28 on some car forums at a barn in Cody, Wyoming. Oh, in my tw- God. In 2011. Drove up and acquired on the spot. Turned out to be the first serial number E28 M5 available in North America with a considerable race history with Cunningham BMW Racing. Oh, my God. Had lots of miles, like 200,000, and I got impatient with it. Sold it no reserve at Meekum in 2014 for what I bought it for. At, is that 18.5? 18.5. 18.5. Ended up at Enthusiast Auto in Ohio, a well-known used BMW M dealer, who has since sold it twice for north of 80. God damn. Wow. Yo. You see... E28 M5s are kind of a guilty pleasure of mine. Because you guys know I don't really care much for older BMWs. I actually don't care much for BMWs in general. Yeah, I was about to say. I, I mean, I've driven a couple E46s I enjoy, and I like drifting E36s. I really like the E39 5 Series for a little while. E28 M5s have always been kind of a dirty yeah, pleasure to that's me. That's kind of been like the one thing you kind of circle back to as far as BMWs are concerned. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, well... To be fair, you know, my my mom's neighbor in Layton had a black E28 M5. It was always in the garage, and the only time it was out of the garage was parked in the front yard with a for sale sign kind of laid flat on the dash. Ooh. You know, so like nobody could see it type thing, right? Yeah. It, it really looked like one of those, yes, honey, I'm trying to get rid of it, but nobody wants it, wink, wink. <laughs> yeah. And then it would just disappear back into the garage. And it's a car I have really kind of had an eye on for a while i probably again will never own one no especially if you know the first serial car is going for 80k yeah i can only imagine what they're worth oh yeah i I don't even want to look neither do i Uh, let's see from aj sorry i'm late to the party no you're just in time uh the line for the k was out the door no it wasn't don't lie you were standing on top of it you you just brought the pony keg with you it's all right it's all right 
If I'd have known more about dealing with car dealers, I wouldn't have let them bend me over a barrel when I paid sticker price for my Challenger. Oh, uh, sticker price was eight grand over the blue book value, and I would have let it. And I wouldn't have let it get repoed. I would have bought that FC Turbo Two with cash when I had the chance instead of getting a loan for an RX Eight that needed quote way and quote more work and wasn't as fast because I quote. Thought it looked better, end quote. If I could go back and kick young me in the ass, I'd do it twice out of spite. Yeah, there's there's some salt on that. I, I, I feel that. We, we've all been there. Mm. Yup. Oh, let's see. Indeed, sirs. In fucking deed. Which one did I have pulled up? Oh, shit. It's all right. It happens. Da, 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 da. Hmm. No. Uh, by the way, randomly saw an SVT contour. That's pretty cool. That was v- it, somebody clearly love loves that car. It's, yeah, the one you were showing. Yeah, that was a really nice. The wine red. Yeah, like, somebody super, cared. Super clean. All right, and uh, UJCC Dave, if you want to go ahead and take you this one. got it, bud. Hit me the C more there. Perfect. Okay, Jacob Bastion. I feel like you're on the same level with me, bud. I think we we have a lot of what ifs here. Yeah. Uh, so he says, oh boy, here's a, here's a bunch of them. What if I stop buying quick fixes, referring to cars, and just finish my long lost FC GTUS? What if I just sold all my shit and left this car life behind? I think that a lot. What if Mm -hmm. I never had gone down this rotary rabbit hole? What if I didn't pick this career as a technician? Would I actually enjoy wrenching again? This could all get really deep really quick. And then I told him to go ahead and push that yoke forward because I want to see a breakthrough, damn it. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Uh, John Chouse says, what if I sold my 240 or kept my Miata? Cool. Tyler Tyler Wittenberger. I wish I would have put my S12 back together and kept it as a drivable car rather than tear it apart to build it. Uh, I feel that. Oh, yeah. I definitely feel that. Um, Brandon Kuhn. What if I hadn't fallen in with Chirp and met all of your disreputable and met all of you disreputable miscreants? How dare you? Uh, I've never had somebody speak such nice words. I'd be financially stable and money ahead and the most boring person you know. Which, funny side note, we were actually talking about this yesterday. Yeah? Yeah, he was like, you know, if I wasn't into this car thing, I'd be a rich man. And yeah. I said, you'd be a rich, boring man. But a rich man. A rich man, nonetheless. Ah... Uh, Austin Fenn. Fuck you, man. No. Nick Stuckey. No, no, no uh, what ifs. Just keep moving forward. I mean, that's... That's basically what I said, more or less. Yeah, pretty much. Just, I mean, just like, live life and just be happy with it. Fuck you. Moving on. Nick yeah. Stuckey. What if I learn to love? I love you. You fucking moron. Thanks. I didn't know what button that was. I just, you, just, you just wanted to hit a button. Let me film porn. Oh, they're going to throw it at me. I was getting ready for it. No, I would not give you the solace. I, I, wa- I wanted your abuse. Harder, Daddy. Give it to me. Uh, Benjamin Corwin Allred. What if I had never sold my early 68 Datsun 510 to Derek Edgington? What if I never sold my FC GTUS to Jacob Bastion? <laughs> His same long-lost FC. <laughs> What if I had been better about my buying and selling experiences so I hadn't lost so much money getting rid of stuff? I mean, yeah, All man. really hard pills to swallow. Like, the Supra, like, I sold it to uh, Scott's buddy for what I paid for it. Right. And But, you know, when I got the car, it didn't have speaker box in the back. It didn't have a lot of things. We yeah. put a lot of work into that car. Yeah, so, I mean, he got a hell of a car for Indeed. not a lot of money. Right. So, where are we at? No, I thought I had some in Drift Utah. Uh, I believe you did. You did post in oh, Drift wait, Utah. Wait, uh, on the Cam Proper page, we got uh, Alex Crane. Uh, I asked myself the latter question when I put the boss up for sale a little while back. The only way it'd sell it is if I had a chance to buy one of three cars. A Ford GT, a Cosworth Escort, or a classic Mach 1. The only other reason would be if it would greatly improve the chances of a successful financial future for my family. I mean, we all we all got to play that long game sometimes. 
It's yeah, true. That's why the Supra is gone, because I couldn't afford to keep paying the inflated storage fees at where I had the car. So Right. Yep. Okay, so I, I pulled up Drift Utah. Okay. And we get... have we have one. Okay, I got these last two, and then we'll awesome. do that one. Uh, Scott Michael Chamberlain, what if I never started doing NASA? I think I'd be lost and miserable. Probably. Yep. And then Luke Dreyer, what if I actually finished the build on my G20? Oh, yeah, you're still building a G20. I forgot. You have a Primera and a G20. Yep. Goddamn. Right? Huh. Zero. Anyway. Word. Yeah. I... Hey, man. All right, Dave. That is that is it. Okay. All right. So uh, the only response in Drift Utah from Taylor Hatch. Shout out to you, bud. Okay. What if I would have just kept the first E36 I had and actually made it out to drift events and progressed as a driver rather, rather than wasting my time with one hoopty after another? Buying and trading cars constantly rather than committing to one, chasing some silly dream of having a Hot Boy 240, while consistently buying cheap knockoff parts and trying to make the car look cool rather than having an actual functional or even drivable car. Ouch. Man. Get on my head, fool. We've all been there, man. I, I, yeah. Yes, we absolutely have all been there. Oh, yeah. Uh, a lot of people in Drift Utah need to take heed. A lot. Um, a lot of people in a lot of groups. It's true. You know. It is true. I mean, listen, there are a lot of guys who are quote-unquote race car guys who uh, are never out at the track. There's builders and there's drivers. Don't try to be a driver if all you want to do is build. Yep. And if you don't know how to build, you should probably just stay driving. Yep. So there we go, folks. Damn. Yeah. we was kind of a deep episode. We got there. And we strung her out a little bit. It's going to be just over an hour. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> so on, Dave. Yeah. So there we go. So remember, Blood folks, go ahead and support us, uh, patreon.com slash camautomag. Five bucks a month is the best bang for your buck because you get a bunch of cool stuff. Bonus content, super secret shenanigans, Facebook group, early episodes, other stuff that I have yet to figure out. But, you know, it's probably just going to be those things. If you want other stuff, you know, there are other levels to subscribe at. There are. Yep. There are, and you can browse our Patreon page and yeah. and kind of see what it is we have to offer. Oh. Yes. I remember something I had to say. What? I'm selling my Mustang. Oh, yeah. He's selling his Mustang. Yeah. Someone please buy it. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, if you're a listener, it's $1,500. The real MVP would buy the Mustang for 1500 and then take $250 and buy some cam swag from Cam Auto Swag yep. and take $250 and buy some swag from Steady Broke. There you go. Segway. Segway that bitch. Yep. So there you go. There you go. Uh, follow us on all the social medias. We're at Cam Automag on all of the things. Uh, like, rate, review this podcast uh, wherever you get it. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play. And, uh, yeah. Yup. Uh, yeah. We're, I, I'm in the long break uh, between the next NASA race. The next NASA race is the first weekend of August, which is also the Enduro so that is going to be a thing where I will disappear from my house on Saturday morning and not return until Sunday afternoon. Beautiful. Yep. That's why you have a van you can camp in. Damn right. It sleeps beautifully. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, uh, come out for that. It's free to watch. The Toilet County Fair is going on next door. So you will see fireworks at about 10 o'clock as the cars are racing. It's it's a good time. Uh, I really hope Make Some Models wins again because, God damn it, I'm stealing one of the hammers. Okay. That is the trophy. It is a hammer. I am stealing one. I like it. Yep. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, I got I got nothing coming up. So. Beautiful. There we go, folks. Write to us. Mailbag at camautomag.com. Yeah, let us know what we should be talking about. I mean, you can give us things to talk about. You can give us suggestions. You can give us, you know, critiques. You, you can, can give us things just, to go to. Well, you can even just. Like I told you my chat. friend, uh, Sam, Sam Goebel. He just wants to talk about sobs. And I said, just write in. Yeah, we'll talk sobs. He said, I said, just write in a they, story about a sob. They're the inferior Swedish vehicle, but I appreciate them nonetheless. Oh, you might have to get some hands thrown at you. They were the inferior Swedish vehicle that was somehow superior to the superior Swedish vehicle. I like that. You about to catch these hands, boy. All right, let's do this. <laughs> so, Sam, if you're listening, write us in about sobs. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, write in, man. Everybody, 
right? Yeah. Mailbag at camautomag.com. Yeah, give us stuff to talk about. Tell us stuff that we should be doing. Whatever. We're out there. We need stuff to do. We need stuff to talk about. And uh, you can help make this thing better. It's true. And if we like what you wrote enough, we might even just, you know, have you over here. Yep. You know, enjoy some finely crafted foods from Doc Taste himself. You know, you can sit on this luxury black leather couch down here. Yeah. It's it's old and it's broken in, so therefore it is very comfy. It's it's insanely comfortable. Oh, yes. It's like that leather jacket that your uncle had back in the 80s when he was a biker. And he and wore then, the shit out of it. Yeah, and then you got it as a hand-me-down. Yeah. Sometimes I wish I was still sitting on the couch. It's more comfortable. Yeah. I mean, you could always just go over there and hang out. Can you take the microphone with me? No. no. I'll, I'll bring a longer XLR, XLR cable. No, we're good. I'm just saying, like, if you just want to, if you just want to tag out for a minute, you can just go hang out. We can someone else say nice, like, tap out with them and be like, hey, it's your turn. Go do it. You have time to shine. No. Anyway, for episode 202 <laughs> of the Camcast, I have been Mike. My name's Dave. My name's Zeke. Okay, <laughs> you. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> I'm sorry.